Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be going through QS basics and we'll be looking at simple queues with PCQ. And this is the first of a series of um, QS basics um, because I've been getting a lot of requests um, to do some tutorial on QS. So I've come up with some scenarios and I'll be going through all of these in in different um, labs so the first lab that we are going to do is um, one with a single queue for all users so we're going to have a, a queue that has an upload um, speed of 512 kilobits and a download of 6 megabits and that queue will will apply to all the users on that particular network so let us go over to RoteOS and configure it. All right, before configuring your queues, you need to ensure that fast track is disabled. And this is fast track. And what fast track does, it bypasses the queues and send the traffic straight to the internet. So with fast track enable, your queues will not work. So first thing, make sure you remove it and then reboot your router so i've just removed it and all you need to do next is to just reboot your router all right so the router has been rebooted so we're going to reconnect and first thing that you need to do is to go into queues and this is where we'll we'll be doing the configuration um, for this configuration, you need to know the subnet or the IP address range of your network. And you can find that out by going to IP, go to your DHCP server. Um, also, this router that I'm using just has the basic configuration, the straight out of the box default configuration. So this is my IP addresses for the devices that are connected to my network and if you want to know your network address um, subnet it would be in networks where it is 192.168.88.0/24 and this is what we'll be using to configure our queue so head over to your queue click on the plus and we're going to create a new queue and this is simple queue and we're going to call this queue all all bandwidth and we're going to the target will be our network which is 192.168.88.0 slash 24 and the max limit is where really for upload will be 512 you can actually type anything that you want so if you want 500 you can type that but there's some predefined upload um, speed that are there so I'm just going to use 512 and uh, maximum download is 6 megabits but there's no 6 megabits so you'd have to type that so I put 6 megabits you have like options like for burst limits uh, this is like for instance you want to allow the users user to go over over this particular um, download speed or upload speed you can set burst limit and the threshold and how long does it burst and also you have an option to say that will enable this rule or this queue on 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 particular days or time but we're not going to configure any of this in the advance so packet markings is like when you're creating manga rules and if you are marking certain type of traffic this is where the marking the pocket marking will be the only one that is there is no mark because um, I haven't marked any pockets and limited stands for it ensures that the client is guaranteed a certain bandwidth so if, say if, if we had set this to say 64 and uh, say one meg down 
then the, that would be what the user would be guaranteed at all time. And the priority, I uh, went through the priority in, in the last tutorial in terms of priority 8 being the lowest and priority 1 being the highest. But you can leave it as priority 8 because it is only, there's only one queue. So it doesn't really matter. And then now, the next thing that we're going to change is the queue type. And we're going to select PCQ upload. And uh, for download, we're going to select PCQ download defaults. So these are just the default PCQ um, types. I'm going to use and what PCQ does is it divides the bandwidth equally among the client based on the number of clients that are connected at at a given time click apply click OK um, also um, someone pointed out to me why why I normally click apply and then OK uh, just in case you apply the setting then looking at it you realize that oh I've made a mistake you can actually see the wind the window will still remain up and you can make that adjustment then ok it so they apply apply the settings but if you just click ok alone it will also apply the settings all right so I click ok and i'm going to enable some columns some additional columns so you can see the upload and download speed you can go show column and I'm going to select upload alright so I've added the upload and download um, columns so you can see that traffic is going over um, this this queue so this queue will be applied to all all the clients that are on the network so if I I'm going to just jump over to my one of my test machines and I'm just going to download our file and if I jump back over to to router OS and you can see where the queue is currently working so it's limiting the traffic and remember that we set we had set the the limit to six megabits so you realize it's limiting the traffic that is um, going through the network so this user is currently downloading and the QoS is actually limiting the traffic to 6 megabits. So that is how you go about um, configuring simple queues. And I'll be doing more tutorials on um, Q QoS and the simple queues. So this is the first one. So if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. And also um if you have a comment please leave it and i'll try and respond and that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching